I told y'all I was going to do this. What's crazy is that I, I, I saw a comment saying you don't have to do this if, if you don't like death battle. Yeah, you're right. I know I don't. But because I got so much unnecessary weird ass people commenting on my stuff and I'm still getting weird ass people commenting on my stuff talking about some stupid stuff because they didn't like what I said still. I'm going to add on to more of the salt. I'm going to add on to more of the salt. And it's not that I'm salty. I'm not salty at all. Honestly, I don't really give a fuck about um, death battle. I, I just said my own piece and left it, left it at that. But because I got insulted, right? And uh, just, just showered with a whole bunch of hate comments and unnecessary, and unnecessary stuff. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do another one. Now, I'm not sure if I even did this one, though. This one is old. This is when they was around with Screw Attack. Before all the bullshit and the cows. And shit was a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole thing about it with me. Back when Screw Attack was like doing the whole death battle thing. It probably still is Screw Attack. But they don't show it anymore. Um, The title. The death battles were honestly a lot more fun. To be honest with you. And that's just me. Okay? That's just me. Don't get upset because I just said that. Don't get upset. Alright? Weebs. Nerds. Okay? Chill. Now, I have been told that Peach wins this. How she wins it, I don't know. Because if we're counting... Here's the whole thing. Here's the whole thing with me. If we are counting Super, uh, um, um, Super Smash Bros., uh, powers and abilities and moves. If if we're if we're talking about that, and on top of that, stuff from like I guess Mario Kart or or uh um uh, um um shoot I I cannot remember it, and it's on the tip of my tongue. But you know uh, uh, the other Mario games where Peach does stuff. Right, if we're counting that and we're saying that she's strong because of that, then I guess you could say Peach would trump Zelda. Taking all that out, no, no, Mm -mm. no, 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 there's no way Zelda has the Triforce of Wisdom. And she is fought Ganon a lot of times, like Link. That's why I. That's why I never talk shit about Zelda because Zelda hold. Zelda can hold her own. That's the whole thing about it. And uh, she's been in countless wars with Link and Ganon. All three of them have to have been duking it out against each other. Okay. Well, Link and and Zelda have been duking it out against Ganon a whole bunch of times. So I can't sit here and say Zelda don't got nothing on her. Yes, she does. And if and also if we count in uh, Smash Bros. abilities and effects and her final smash, then I would say yeah, she should win this. If we're counting that, if not, I uh, still, you know, Zelda has power, especially the fact that she uh, that the half of her. Half of herself is Sheik. Sheik is powerful, dude. But then again, they probably won't be adding Sheik into this. I haven't watched this, so I I, I don't know. But with that being said, let's just turn this on. See what see see what they say. Today we're pitting two of the most worthless damsels in distress against each other. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Zelda's not worthless. Peach probably is, but Zelda's not worthless. Zelda's not a damsel in, damsel in distress. Zelda can hold her own. Okay? Come on. Come on now. Princess Zelda from the realm of Hyrule. And Princess Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm Wizard and he's Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death. Yeah, they probably yeah, they probably all gonna be counting the rest of the games that Peach is in. 
They probably are. The descendant of the House of Hyrule, Princess Zelda has spent her entire life governing her kingdom. Despite having a king, the majority of royal decisions are actually made by her. Talk about a control freak, and why do they let her get away with it? I mean, she's lost her kingdom to the forces of evil more times than I can count. Between being waited on hand and foot, Zelda has spent some time training with her modest arsenal. Bows, magic, musical instruments, she even carries a sword and dagger, but has little experience with them. Her weapon of choice is the bow, which she wields with deadly accuracy. Oh, I, oh, that talk, that, are, are we adding into that old cartoon? Are we really gonna add that old cartoon? No one really remembers that cart. Okay, so there was a Legend of Zelda, uh, cartoon back then, and they made Zelda look kind of weak. Even though she's had some training in, 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 in that series of, like, you know, and always joining Link. She can, she can, come on, she can hold her own, guys. I don't think we should add that in there, because that's a different Zelda. That, 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 that's a completely different Zelda. That, that, that Zelda, I, uh. Mmm. Uh, especially with that link, though, those are two. Se th I'm telling you, those are two separate um, Zelda and Links. I'm telling you, we can't we can't add different characters like that. And of course, the reincarnation and like um, Wind Waker doesn't really help much either, unless if that's the same Zelda. If I can, if I'm thinking, hold on, think Joseph, think, think, think Rio. Is that the same Zelda? It's probably not. Yeah, so. Plus, she can use her magic to turn an ordinary arrow into the powerful light arrow. Perfect for kill and evil. Speaking of which, Zelda is an incredibly potent spellcaster. Yes, yeah, she While is. Her magic is for use outside of combat. She is more than capable of holding her own. Yes. She can teleport with Pharaoh's wind, shield herself with <clears throat> Nehru's love, and cast pyrokinetic projectiles with Din's fire. That's also, right. Also, she can talk with dead people. Spirits. Like Zelda is also the bearer of the legendary Triforce of Wisdom, mm -hmm. a testament to her astute mind. This greatly enhances her magical prowess and gives her the power to dispel evil. She is even skilled enough to create long-lasting disguises. She used the guise of Sheik to evade Ganon's tyranny for over seven years. Oh, wait, that's a chick? But where's her, uh... It should be noted, however, that the forms of Sheik and Tetra are nothing more than disguises, and abilities attributed to them would naturally be available to Zelda. Yeah, right. Why would you want to toss tiny needles at people when you can shoot fireballs with your mind? While Zelda is clever, mystically powerful, and helps battle Ganon when necessary, she repeatedly relies on the aid of others. Her success at avoiding capture can be largely attributed to her guardians in Sanctuary. She is really good at getting other people to do stuff for her. Right, she is a master manipulator. She can always convince a naive young hero to do her dirty work with little to no reward. How many times has this guy got to save you? Put out already! You call her a hero That's princess? messed up, y'all. Yes, but I guess you'll have to do. <sighs> Cannot be counting this shit. I don't, I don't, sorry, I can't count that. I can't At count that. Glance, Princess Peach appears to be your standard meek and helpless damsel in distress. Now, Peach, I don't know what she has. Family, Peach spends most of her time getting herself kidnapped or making cakes in the kitchen like any good woman should. Despite being a wealthy princess with a royal guard more than capable of defending the castle, she has been kidnapped over a dozen times. Yet somehow, while still behind bars, she can send mail to Mario through outer space containing items and extra lives. Hey lady, next time just send yourself. Wait, what? Wait, what? See, I, I don't. Oh, so, uh, and they're counting her old uh, cartoon, too. Okay, so they, they're, they're trying to make it fair. If, if we're going to talk about uh, Zelda's cartoon, you're going to have to talk about her old cartoon. That's fair. That's fair. Incredibly athletic and capable fighter. She has participated in a variety That's of fair. sports, including soccer, basketball, and kart racing, and has survived every single Mario Party. And as we've said before, Mario Party is no walk in the park. Peach's unique array of weaponry includes a tennis racket, golf club, yep, they yeah, uh, yep, yep, they they yep, they and they're counting the smash. They they're counting the smash. Yep, they damn sure. Perry the parasol, an umbrella capable of powerful strikes and magic. And from other games too. I I I, I knew that cuz she can hit someone with that thing so hard that something down there explodes. Lord Jesus. 
Peach also wields a form of magic called Heart Power. With it, she can float in midair for an indefinite period of time, cast healing spells, and summon lambs from the sky to put her foes to sleep. Better than the RPG they count? Okay. And ever since being touched by the Vi Scepter, she can channel her emotions into raw mystic power. When she rages, she becomes invulnerable but slows tremendously. Oh, hold up, don't you the what now? The Vi Scepter. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> but Peach's magic reaches its climax with <laughs> with her mega strike technique, Empress Peach, a kick so You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? They would definitely get canceled if they said some shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> they said some shit like this in 2022. People would cancel the fuck out of them. They call them sexist and all kinds of stuff. Split the soccer ball into three separate ones, delivering it a force to score three times. I forgot that was her final attack and uh 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 strike. That's what it was, strikers. I'm sorry. That's what I was talking about, the soccer game. Yeah. Hold on, 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 hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, right? I had said this uh, in, in a previous um, discussion that. Peach and Bowser are clapping. They're clapping cheeks. Bowser is clapping um, Peach's cheeks. Doing so, how many times they have all these children? And keep in mind, when they first appeared, and I, I think it's Mario Sunshine when uh, Bowser Jr. first appeared, right? She was not startled at all. She was actually more on the lines of trying to Bowser Jr. to stop being mischievous, and I and I looked at I looked at that scene. And I was just like, wait a minute, why is she calm in this? And and I and I ultimately came to the conclusion that those were her children. Then the kingdom doesn't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. Like all of them are 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 their children. Those those are their kids. Why they have different color hair, they, they, they probably just dyed it. More so, they just dyed it. And because of bestiality, the children have taken different kinds of colors and forms. Because, especially the fact that they have, that some of them have magic. They can use magic. And with the fact that Peach can use magic... Yeah, th those are her kids. Somebody gonna flame me in the comments for saying that. I'm sorry, but that, that that's the way it looks to me. That that's the way it looks, cause she was too freaking calm, and Bowser just keeps taking her. Easily, I might add, very easily. Peach has assisted Mario in battle several times, once even saving him from Bowser on her own. Even so, she still needs rescuing on a daily basis, and her gratitude usually only goes as far as a I don't know what cartoon day. was that that well, they just showed. Not putting out. Give it up already. Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake for Mario. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for Okay. All. It's time for a death battle. No, wait, wait, wait. We gotta do an ad. What? You said, oh no, we are doing that. What? <laughs> yeah, see, back then, back then, Death Battle was actually kind of funny. They actually were, not kind of, they were funny. They were very funny. And I didn't mind the ads back then. But now it's gotten tedious. Now how, now how does Peach win this? Because in my opinion, the Triforce is the Triforce has more power than what Peach has. And Zelda is much more of a of, of a skilled fighter. Uh 
Plus, she's the freaking seventh sage. Like. I really hit her with a frying pan, dog. But I say, the light arrow should take her out. The light arrow should take her out. Oh, come on! Really? Did I win? Cause of, cause of, cause of the freaking sheep? No! Zelda's offensive arsenal is relatively limited and predictable compared to Peach's quirky repertoire. No, it is not! Third fatal, the Mega Strike Empress Peach gave her a leg up. See, a soccer ball is typically kept at up to about 12 PSI, but since Peach's Mega Strike creates two more, it has enough force to add up to 24 pounds per square inch, or about 165,000 newtons per square meter. As a thousand newtons of force can cause decapitation and 15 PSI shatters the human skull, the Mega Strike is so over excessive it didn't just kill Zelda, it obliterated her. You kicked her in the face really hard and it went boom. Yeah, in layman's terms, I guess. Now, unfortunately, I can't say that they should have used her other form, Sheik, because if they did, Zelda would have damn sure won that. Um, the Triforce is a lot more stronger than what Peach had. And yeah, Mario Strikers, her her final uh, strike is, is very powerful. I'll give you that, but that did not leave the, calcul the need to have the calculations about how strong the kick would be. It's it, it's a soccer ball kick. It's not that damn strong compared to what Zelda has. That's just me though. That's just me. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all thought about this one. As such, this has been Master of Sakura. I'll see y'all later. Uh, yeah. Peace.